Okay, today I have a quick tutorial on using the um, some text effects or range select or animator to do some text effects. Like, uh, I guess I'd call it like a hacker text decoder effect. I use it in like hacker movies or spy movies. Um, create a little background here to make it more pleasant. And we will do some text, some random text. Um, I'll say the nor oil bacons at midnight, but I'll just do that. I will lock the background layer so it's not moving around on us. My mouse is screwing up. Change mouses there. So I'll lock the background layer, and center the text, and we are first going to. Um, Add a slider control effect, and we will keyframe it from zero to 100 at about a second. Whoops, 100. So now, if we hit U, we can see our keyframes, and we are going to. Actually come here to animate we're going to do a character offset and then we're going to come right here an option click or what is it control click I guess on a PC I'll put this uh, little snippet in the comments or in the description below copy it here into the character offset and oh yeah it'll say it can't find this effect it's because you need to rename your slider just hit enter to animate now it'll work okay, we gotta reinitialize it now it'll work but there's something wrong it looks silly with all the text there. So we will come up here to animate again. Add an opacity. We will turn the opacity to zero. Expand the range selector. Option click on start. And then grab the pick whip tool here. And come all the way up here to our slider effect. And then just click here. And now get that effect. I'll run it in a RAM preview. Pretty cool. Um, you know, you can come in and add more. I, don't, I, don't, I think motion blurring will work on that, maybe. Taking longer to render. Yeah, there's some motion blurring in there, and then you could oh, add all kinds of things. Who knows? You could come in and do a um, some optical flare stuff. I'm not gonna spend real long on this. Oh, yeah, that confused me for a second. I'm not up there yet. And you know, animate your flare mm. you know somehow I don't know how but go in and um, animate it along with the same rate as the text I don't want to spend time doing this but you get the basic idea it'll be a lot better than this spend time ramping up the brightness and Compositing it into your scene, as they say. I hope After Effects didn't just jam. That might be the end of the tutorial. As you can see down here on my taskbar, I've been working and I have a ton of stuff open. <laughs> so that might be causing this. Mm, there it goes. 
So, you know, you could say we're at zero, so position, brightness, keyframe both. Yeah, I know. Spend more time on a real product. And we could also ramp up the brightness. And you start to get the idea. Rendering slow. Uh, and then on with it. One little trick to add to your tooltip, your tool bag.